Do you feel that this type of laws in some ways they could stifle innovation, they could prevent innovation? Like because somebody like you gives up entirely on, uh, you don't know what comes out of it. Yeah, I think, um, I think there's got to be certain laws that protect human privacy. I think if you look at China, they've implemented um, so much, so many things as far as, you know, face recognition, object recognition, but people have no private life. Um, and so I don't think that, um, I think it's a good thing that governments like the US and as well as the European Union implement certain laws that prevent companies from going too far or crossing certain lines. I think what we're doing, think about it back, um, I think it makes sense that we stopped uh, with uh, using face recognition just because it was a little bit, you know, a little bit creepy. Um, I think nowadays, a lot of what we're trying to do can be done without the use of face recognition. And there are any companies that are well-funded who do similar things without using face recognition. Uh, because you can, you can recognize an object, recognize that it's one person, and then track them throughout the store without having to use their face as the main ident identification. And the same, the same thing goes for shoplifting. You can actually predict or see um, a shoplifter steal something by their movement. So it's a series, a sequence of movements. And so you can break it into a mask and then basically predict that that person is likely to steal something. Because if, you know, if they stay at one place and look to, you know, and move in certain ways, um, you know, there's certain pattern, patterns that you can recognize through that. So you're saying in a way, this is not blocking innovation, but it's kind of steering it in a different direction. I think so. Yeah, yeah I think so. Was, so uh, so you, you're taking a stand that this might be positive uh, because it forces technologists and innovators to think through the problem in uh, deeper and find alternatives to solve the problem. I do, yes. So in other words, the computer face recognition is kind of the shortcut and then it might be abused because people would go for the shortcut rather than thinking how to solve the problem in, in a different way. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I'm, I'm happy that they implemented the laws, at least in the United States, because I feel, you know, I feel safer knowing that the government at least somehow has control over companies, um, over all those big companies. So it, in my opinion, it's a good thing.